You know, a lot of people usually ask me the question like, why do you love your community so much? What is the main reason? And it's just that we don't, we never leave dreams to be dreams. We always fight for them. A great example is that you guys sign petitions to make me dab, which is really weird, by the way. But still, you guys keep fighting for it, and that's really what matters. Even though it's never gonna happen. <laughs> I can just see now our Discord server, like, collapsing, people DDoSing Discord. <laughs> Don't do that, please. I know you guys would. Anyhow, so if you guys aren't aware, Unity runs a Unity Tips hashtag on their Twitter every Tuesday to help its users. And in order to support that cause, we also run a video every now and then on the channel covering some of our own tips and tricks for Unity. And because it's Tuesday, I thought that it would be a perfect opportunity for us to make another episode of Unity Tips and Tricks. So as always, I hope you enjoy watching the video. And if you do and find it helpful, make sure to give the video a thumbs up also hit the subscribe button down below so you stay up to tune for new content. And now with that being said guys, get ready to take some notes because we are about to learn some new stuff. Hey Vsauce, Sam here, and today we're going to go over 5 tips and tricks in Unity that you should definitely apply while making games in 2018. And before starting off, I just want to give a huge shout out to Richest Dance, Cupola, Trombear MCP and all of our other Patreons, you guys rock. Also, if you wish to learn more about Unity, this channel has a bunch of content you might like that is also very beginner friendly. And we also have a Discord server linked in the description where you can ask for live help and also get in touch with people that are like-minded. But now, let's begin. The first trick or tip of this day will be going for all of our 2D developers out there. If you're making a 2D game and you wish to have more smooth pixels, the brand new pixel perfect feature in Unity will be helpful. If you're on Unity 2018.2 or newer, you can actually download pixel perfect for free as a package through the package manager. There is also a feature that we recommend you to use in collaboration with that, which is MSAA. So MSAA stands for multi-sample anti-aliasing and it basically removes some of the jitter from your pixels. By using MSAA with pixel perfect, you can eliminate all of those harsh edges and get sharper and more beautiful pixels. To enable anti-aliasing in Unity, you can basically enter edit and then go to project settings. In there, you can pick quality and then in the anti-aliasing field, you basically just click on the drop down menu and pick one of the options. Moving on to number two in our list, we are now going to take a deeper look at the package manager. So the actual topic here is the shader graph actually. So as you know, shader graph is supported in Unity 2018.1 and above. And when you start a new project, even with the latest build of Unity and pick one of the templates required for shader graph to work, you get access to shader graph right away instead of having to download any sort of package. So my message here is that you should still update the shader graph and all of your other packages that you use in your project because using the latest version of Unity and creating a new project does not automatically give you access to the latest build of shader graph. And doing this is actually very simple. So you just have to enter the package manager and then pick either lightweight render pipeline or HD render pipeline. And then you can pick the latest version and then update it. Shader graph is a part of the rendering pipeline, so you don't really have a specific package just for it. So you basically just have to update the rendering pipeline you're using right now. And next up at number three, we'll be entering the 2D part of Unity again, just for a short little while. So if you've been using Cinemachine for your 3D projects at all, you might have realized what an incredible feature it is. And then entering the 2D environment in Unity and working there requires you to create a smooth 2D camera script and you almost wish you had Cinemachine 2D in Unity as well. And the good news is the fact that there is actually a Cinemachine 2D in Unity but there's just a lot of people that don't know about that. So let's just make sure you know. Instead of taking up too much of your time, I'm just going to link Ethan Bruin's blog post down in the description, which is basically an overview of how you get Cinemation 2D and how you set it up correctly. Obviously, full credits to Unity and Ethan for this brilliant post. I think it was nicely done and it covers pretty much everything you should know about the feature and its 2D implementation. And by the way, if you want me to make a tutorial on Cinemation 
machine, let me know in the comments and I'll do it. But now let's go ahead and move on from 2D and at number four, let's take a look at the component system. If you've been using Unity for a while, you might have also entered the play mode, which is like a cliche mistake every developer makes. You might have entered play mode, edited some component values like the scale of an object or something simple, found out that the new value is perfect and then you accidentally forget about playing the game exit runtime and just lose the values. Frustrating, right? Well, I actually got a very simple and obvious workaround that a lot of people already use, but I still wanna cover this in the video because obviously we're also aiming these videos for the beginners. So as a workaround, you can copy the values of a component while you're in runtime too. And I'm not just talking about like highlighting the component value and then copy pasting and all that kind of stuff. I'm literally saying while you're in runtime, you can edit the properties and you just then right click on that component you just edited the properties of and then you pick copy component that's pretty much it then you can basically exit runtime and right click once again on the same component and pick to paste component values that will paste the components values without duplicating the script in the first place which is literally a life savior and now moving on to the last tip for the day number five we'll be entering the shader graph again so ever since starting with shader graph i basically been checking out some more tutorials and tips because it's just so much fun to learn and play with the shader graph. I'm obviously trying to pass down that knowledge to you guys, so if you have any ideas on effects we should create and tutorials that we should make on shader graph and cover topics, let me know in the comment section. So the trick I wanna cover for this segment is that you're now able to edit vertex position with the shader graph. Before Unity 2018.2, you didn't really have that option, but now it's a part of it. So you can basically use the position input of the PBR and unlit mask nodes. If you wish to check out the basics of shader graph, by the way, and watch a beginner friendly video tutorial, feel free to check out my previous video, which I will be linking in the description. And that is pretty much all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed your time and found this helpful. If you did and want to see more tips and tricks for Unity, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up since all the likes are super appreciated. And also feel free to follow me on Twitter, which is linked in the description too. I'm just leaving a bunch of links in the description at this point, but I usually share a lot of tips for Unity and game development in general. We also have a Discord server, like I said in the intro, which is also linked in the description. Surprise, who would have guessed? Now, with that being said, thank you guys once again, and I hope to see you in the comment section and in our Discord server. Have a good night, guys. See you next time. Peace out. I like stunning, I like shining, I like million dollars.